The thing to notice when solving this problem is that no matter how the battery is connected, the form of the resulting circuit is always the same. The battery is across one of the resistors, I'll call that R sub B, B for battery, and the other two, O for other, form a series combination in parallel with the resistor across the battery. So we can draw the equivalent circuit and write the current as the voltage over that equivalent resistance. We can express the equivalent resistance using the inverse rule for resistors in parallel. That gives us 1 over the equivalent resistance equals 1 over the resistance across the battery plus 1 over the sum of the other resistances. If we simplify this algebraically, we find the equivalent resistance is the product of the resistance across the battery times the sum of the other resistances divided by the sum of those same terms. Notice that the denominator is just the sum of all the resistances in the circuit, so we can rewrite it this way and substitute into our expression for the current. Notice here that the values in the numerator are constant. The battery voltage is 35 volts and the sum of all the resistances is 45 ohms. So that gives us 1575 volt ohms divided by the product of the resistance across the battery times the sum of the other resistances. In part A, the battery is across the 15 ohm resistor, so R sub B is 15 ohms, and the other resistances sum to 30 ohms. That gives us a current of 3.5 amps. In part B, the battery is across the 10 ohm resistor, and the others sum to 35 ohms, so we find a current of 4.5 amps. In part C, the battery is across the 20 ohm resistor and the others sum to 25 ohms, so that gives us a current of 3.15 amps.